Another fantastic brand new model Range Rover has just arrived. This one is a 2022 72 registration D350 HSE. HSE gives you a massive amount of specification. The colour is called Iger Grey. They're a beautiful car for all the right reasons because the drive's so smooth. They're comfortable, they're nice and big. Lots of cabin space, massive boot space, ground clearance. They're just fantastic. I just think they're an all-rounded vehicle. Now this one, like I said, being a brand new model, it comes with all that lovely, nice, neat features you'd expect on a car of this price. Now this car with the life pricing is 90990. Now we do have a very expensive search tool which prices the cars up so they're accurate and in line with the market. And this one at £90,990, someone's going to get a real good car. It also has a shadow exterior package. Now that's the darker finish to the badge, the grills, the inserts, and that continues around the side and the back as well. Now, almost every car on the road today has LED daytime running lights. So sometimes when we're doing our video presentations, we talk about some of the things that you just, it's a given. But it's the detailing behind the, the daytime running lights. It looks really good. And this particular one has the extended glass piece as well. Being the HSC, it has the full matrix adaptive LED headlights. And that's good for visibility, especially night driving. It's on high beams. As a car comes towards you, it dips one side. Other nice little features like headlight washers. No one really cares about that or thinks about it, but what it means is that you'll get the best visibility again because when it's nice and dirty, when you're washing the windscreens, they pop out, squirt, gives a nice little clean and goes away again. And that's nice and flush in that front bumper. You've also got the front LED fog lights, but they also work as a cornering light. So when you're turning left, the left fog light will come on. When you're turning right, the right one will come on. 360 camera system, again, almost a given on most top-end cars. But when the car's this big, I think it's needed. It isn't a question of your driving ability, but when you've got a big front end, nice expensive wheels, the 360 camera really will aid your driving day to day. Front rear parking sensors, nice little touch. But then we go aesthetic. So this got the 23 inch upgraded alloy wheels, the best set of wheels you can get on the Range Rover. This car is extremely big. So when you get a car like this with 21 inch wheels, which is a big set of wheels by the way, but they look tiny, it looks misplaced, it looks out of shape. This doesn't sort of continue with that same theme. So when you've got high gloss wheels like this in the 23 inch in size, it fills the arches and it looks beautiful because when you're buying a car, you're buying it because it looks nice, it's comfortable and it ticks all the boxes. That shadow exterior pack continues on the side atlas here. Just nice little detailing, quite bespoke to the Range Rover. This, this one then has a contrasting black roof. So when you get a car with a two-tone cover like this, I go grey from here, up over is contrasting black. Again, the floor is nice. The side pillars, the C pillars are all finished in black as well. Some protection glass, you do get double glazed windows, soft closed doors are standard. So if you don't know what soft closed doors mean, it means this. It clicks and it shuts on its own. Nice little touch. £3,000 optional extra, the electric deployable side steps. So when you open the door, as you see, and they come out. When you close it, they go back away again. Again, nice and neat. Electric deployable door handles. Now check this out for an interior. Before you get in, the first thing I want to show you, it has the high gloss black Grand Valier interior inlays. Nice amazing touch on any car it just looks posh looks up to date looks modern looks crisp and it's just easy on the eye the hsc also gives you the ambient lighting pack which means you can change your colors you've got the obvious lighting on the center tunnel there's lighting if you go down now you'll see just under the center dash the door pockets the door bins the lever this isn't any ordinary lever this is a semi aniline lever interior which is nice and soft super luxurious the seats are comfortable, but they're still very sporty and have all the adjustments just behind me here at your fingertips when you're sat in the driver or passenger seat. Electric seats with memory seats. The HSC also gives you heated seats and ventilated seats. You've got lovely sort of nice finish to the interior inlays. That's door cards and dashboard as well. This car does come with two keys. There's a grand veneer finish to the center dash. Now there is a couple of compartments here. Wireless charging pad. Again, it's something you'd want in most cars. So when you get into the car, you put your phone in there, off you go, it's charging while you're driving. A lot of the newer cars now have USC. Up until recently, I talk about USB a lot. That's the USB conversation finished now. Won't mention it ever again. Because these days, a lot of it is USC now. And this car has more than one USC port around the vehicle. And that's a nice little thing to have, to, again, to charge your devices. You've got twin cup holders. Cup holders for me are important because in the morning I've either got an energy drink or a coffee, a lot of us might drink, so hot or cold, and you can put that in there, it's nice and stable. Underneath the compartment there, underneath the armrest is more cubby hole space for your sandwiches and anything else you want to hide. 
and then you have the split dashboard. My wife would use that to put her glasses there, kids used it the other day as well. The bottom one's more for the manual and a slightly larger space. Going back to the centre section of the car, you've got this huge infotainment screen, which is all touchscreen and very easy to use. You've got navigation starting on the left-hand side, your phone connectivity, media side of stuff, which obviously has a DAB digital radio and FM, but if you connect your phone to it, it's wireless, Bluetooth, and you have got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Go again, you've got the 4x4 settings, press the four squares on the right corner, and then you have just channels and channels of different configurations and customizations that you can do. If that's on-road, off-road, water sensor, the rest of it. It's just brilliant. If you actually use all parts of this car, it's like an office within the car. It's fantastic. Down below, you have very easy to use the dual zone climate control, and it is passenger driver with third zone climate in the back. The front and rear heated windscreen, or you can press the sync button, which means you can synchronize the temperature and the heating system throughout the full vehicle, pretty much. Stop start button, a nice short shifter gear stick there, and then you have the different driving modes where if you leave it in auto, it'll do its own thing. Where if you push it out, then you can pick eco, comfort, gravel, snow, mud rut, you choose what you want. For most of us, pushes back down, the auto light comes on, let it do its own thing, you don't need to mess about. But if you're going to do intensive off-road driving, go in water, then you can actually pick and choose what you want. But again, do a bit of reading, it's very clever. Above me, you have this beautiful tint and sliding panoramic roof. You can press one button and the roof closes up. We also have the electric blind just behind it, which you can open all the way up. So you have lots of light coming in, but the actual sunroof isn't open. So you can pick and choose what you want. If you want to close the full blind, you can do, and then you have a full closed vision. How cool is that? This car. Soft closed doors means you don't need to slam it. So when it clicks, it shuts. Now in the back, what do we have? First thing I want to show you on the HSC, you get illuminated seatbelt buckles there. Because at night, especially for a driver and a passenger, you're trying to put it in, but you can never see where it is. So that's a nice little touch. Fully fitted velour mat front and rear. Third zone climate control. If I just squeeze in and just show you. For the rear passengers, they've got the heated seats here. And they've also got ventilated seats. So the heated seats, ventilated seats on the front, but the rear passengers get equally just as good of a treatment with their third zone climate and the heating, heated seats options. Put this centre section down. You've got two more cup holders there, more cubby hole space below. That same semi aniline lever continues around the back, nice and soft. But look at the condition. This car's done 22,000 miles, but how well has it been looked after? So now when you're buying a car for £90,990, a car that would have cost £130,000 only six months ago because of the supply and demand, the premiums, the over list price, you haven't got a problem anymore. Now you can buy a car under list like this particular one and still enjoy it for everything that it has to offer. In the back, you have reclining seats as well. The ambient lighting continues. And remember, the HC gives you the upgraded Meridian 3D surround sound system. And that is really special. If you like your music, you can tell the difference instantly. It's so much clear, crisp. The subwoofer and the amplifiers, the more kilowatts that you get through them speakers, makes a massive difference if you enjoy your music, if you like blasting it up. Just a nice space. I really do like it. The Iger Grey works well. The Shadow Exterior Pack works extremely well in this colour. And then that Polino leathery interior, that light leathery interior, just gives it a nice, rich feel to it. Now, these big new Range Rovers, like all the Range Rovers, have their signature strip, signature split tailgate. So when you press that, that goes up, this comes down, and then look at the boot space. Plentiful. I mean, that's massive. It is huge. Before you go in, have a look at this. If you do use this back like I do, there's a little cup holder here. One for you, one for your partner while you're watching any sport. Forget the fact that you can sit on this and it'll take the weight. It's the boot space. I bang on about boot space all the time because it's something I use on the daily with the kids. If I'm going away, just business stuff. Having a big boot space means you can utilize the car to its fullest. The seats do go down and you can see the split 40, 40 and 20. That means you can have one side down and have two passengers sat there. Or you can have all of it down, you can pick and choose. And the seats go down electronically and the buttons adjust here. So you press the button and it goes down as simple as that. Nothing to it. Over here you have also got bag holders and you can see the clear fusion blue LED lighting system right next to it. Just to, again, so your, your boot is all illuminated. You've also got a 12 volt socket, and underneath here, you've got a foam kit, lots of cubby hole space, and a lock and wheel nut. This car is under manufacturer's warranty. The car does come to you fully prepared. It's beautiful, it's actually amazing. There's the steps coming out again electric windows and mirrors. The finish on this is 
Everything's premium. You've got a lovely ceramic finish that's all illuminating. That soft leather continues on the top of the door cards, also down the middle section. But look at the driver's seat. 22,000 miles. The car, in my opinion, is amazing. Because a lot of the times when the car's doing 6,000 miles, a lot of this would be cracking down here. There'd be rips and tears down there because somebody just hasn't been careful. And this is what I like about our cars that we sell here. We handpick what we sell and we sell the best. Because this car's been looked after, all 22,000 miles, someone's cared for it, cherished it, we know the next person that buys this car is really gonna enjoy what they bought from us and they'll be over the moon with their purchase. And it goes a long way because no two cars are the same. Down here, you have got the metal with the rubber sport pedals. And then you have the driver's zone. Now the list goes on and I haven't got all day to tell you what it has and hasn't got and what it exactly does, but it's a quick feature dump. Starting off with the paddle shift just behind, the two-tone leather interior, a full multifunctional steering wheel. That starts off with the heated steering wheel, adaptive cruise control, lane assist, steering assist, so the car drives itself pretty much. Limiter, on the left hand side you've got voice control, stereo controls and Bluetooth controls. All this is adjustable, you can go in and out, up and down. Full digital dashboard, which you can configure and customise, so at the minute it's on double dials, you can have it so it's single dial, you can have it so the navigation's all the way across. But just above that, you have the heads-up display, and the heads-up display is absolutely fantastic. It's just about there. You've also got the rear clear sight view mirror, so that's normal mirror. Flick that forward, the camera on the back works extremely well, and you can see exactly what's behind you. 360 camera system in 3D as well, so you can see exactly what's around the car. It is that good. Guys, don't miss out. I love this car, I love the way it's priced, I love the specification. The fact that it's got 23 inch alloy wheels and the side steps makes it really special. Colour combination is ideal. If you like this, my name's Joe, my name and number's on the screen. Give me a call, drop me a text or a WhatsApp. Thanks for watching, bye bye.